Welcome to Lex's World. First off, a big congrats to all of the municipalities that made cannabis law reforms happen last week, even where the victories were largely symbolic, like Portland. Way to go. Like I've said before, it's all small steps up the ladder. Now on to the topic of the day. Let's talk about hydroponic water and maintaining its temperature. This is an additional challenge that all you hydro growers out there need to deal with. I've had a few emails now from people who've had to cut down their grows because of unhealthy roots. One of those emails was a true heartbreaker because the grower really went the extra mile in terms of room setup and equipment. No expense was spared even though it was his first grow. But root problems killed the entire run and it was caused primarily by bad water temperatures. There are usually multiple problems in most beginner hydro grows, but certain problems, like temperature, have more impact than others. So where should water temperatures be? My view is that temperature should generally be between 64 and 75 Fahrenheit. This can be tricky because your ideal grow room air temperature is a bit higher, between 75 and 88 Fahrenheit. To keep their water temperature from catching up to their air temperature, growers use everything from cooling equipment, to bottles filled with ice, to physically moving the reservoir into a cooler area away from lights and electrical equipment. Keeping light out of your reservoir also prevents algae, by the way. The best cooling method really depends on what's comfortable for your setup. I'm also of the view that it's better to get the temperature of the water closer to 64 Fahrenheit than to 75 Fahrenheit, if you can help it. Why? Because colder water holds more oxygen, as you can see on this chart. Water oxygen levels make a difference, especially if you're using bubble ponics. The maximum amount of oxygen your water can hold is critical and can mean the difference between success and failure. And that's all I have to say about hydroponics water today. So yeah, keep it between 64 and 75. On a more personal note, I'm getting close to the two year anniversary of when I started this show, which is awesome. It's really cool to see how the channel's evolved. I started out kind of playing around with a camera and now the channel is becoming like an index of frequently asked questions on different topics. Some topics are totally random, high discussions, but those are some of my favorite ones. I hope to keep the show going for a long time, but I'm also of the opinion that it's better to focus on quality over quantity. You guys are going to notice I will continue randomly improving and updating previous topics and constantly changing up the format to try and deliver the best show. So we'll see where we are in another two years. On that note, until next time, if you enjoyed the show, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button below. We'll catch you next time on Lexus World.